So on the way back from Clown, I'm popping through Hartill. And there's a bit of a plan here, Hartill with Woodall. And I'll show you the features around the village that I know of. So we have the chapel here now. It's got Christmas stuff around it and everything, but I don't know if it's a, a working chapel or not, or whether somebody lives in it. Wesleyan Chapel 1880, it says on it. I'll just pop up here and have a quick look at the heart of the village. Really wanted to get the blue bell in. Now it's really nice in the blue bell, they have a, a proper roaring fire in there. I think that's even on it in summer, if I remember rightly. But there, at least it. It's captured for eternity if it don't get wiped off YouTube. And there's actually a. I think they have a games night and all sorts in there. But it's a nice pub inside a proper. British pub. So we're on a roundabout here, as you can see. That'll take you up to Clown. And I shan't tell you who lives up there. Now I remember this little shop being an office place. Salt Station, it's actually really the heart of the community. Now it looks quite an old village, but I think a lot of these are new builds. It's knowing what's the original village and what's new. I'll just give you a quick walk down here and we'll pop up to the church. And the BI pub as well. But I'll quickly zoom up as you can see. Well, there's just some shops down here. I'll zoom up to the shops and show you the shop area. I've just come off the high street just to show you one of the back roads. It says Quarry Cottage there, so I don't know if there's a, co a quarry around here at one bit. But I would have said that there was very little in this village before the 1950s because there are some sort of council houses and they look sort of 1950s, 60s but I would have said that the only people living around here would have been farm workers Now I don't know if originally there was shops along the main road. The only one I ever really remember was the station shop I pointed it out. But this is the row of shops. Modern rebuild. Got a Morrison's there. Got a laundrette. Got a bakery. Butchers. Addresses, and then I don't know if that's oh the post office is on the other end, so you can see the post office just there, fruit and veg shop there. That looks like an old shop, doesn't it? I'm actually on Union Street at the moment. But most of this is looking like new build. There would have been very little around here other than the church and a few farms. And a few houses. But there are some lovely walks around here, so... 
Yeah, I've got a few walks. Oh, I'll just have a look on there myself, see what I've missed. So I think I've nearly covered everything when I've got the church and the pub in. So it does mention it in the Doomsday Book, but they couldn't, couldn't have been much here in those days. Just wanted to give you the essence of the village. You've got what would have been probably old farm buildings, buildings turn into towny type accommodation. I mean, that's, you can definitely see that's a modern building. There looks like a rectory to me. Here we are, of the whole Adults Church. I'll just show you the monument for the fallen. So I'm sure that's not the town cross as such, I think. I think there is a bit of community spirit in Art Hill though, I think they've tried to keep it, but as you can see, other than that row of modern shops. They come to so we've got the old school room here at the back of the church. I just spoken to a gentleman. There's actually more shops here now than there was in the past, which means other than farm workers and a couple of farms and a church, there must have been very little around here. So John Varley lived in Artill Village. You can read that board. Stop it. But I'll just zoom it up for you. Gentleman mentioned there was a petrol station here in the past. But just over here, for probably the last 30 years, there's been houses that hadn't ever been finished. And in some way, I don't know if they knocked them down and they're rebuilding them. But there's work now going head on, a load of extra houses around here. So I don't know if that gentleman went in to ring the bells just now. So the bells have just started ringing. So there's another angle on the church. So I'll just uh, sneak up through this gate and after showing you the beehive, I don't like the beehive personally. It was too plasticky. So there's another angle on the church. And just show you in a bit more detail on the windows. What I can't understand is pubs used to survive before they ever sold food, they survived a lot better.
I don't know what a pint of beer is anymore. I mean, I only ever have a, a drink every probably three months now, at the most. And that's usually a pint. There's another view on the beehive. I prefer the, the pub that I showed you at the start of the video to the beehive. It's proper traditional old pub. I think they do sell food in it as well. But I think that's predominantly a food seller and you can actually go in for a drink as well. But I think it'll be a national name as well, that. God takes you down to sort of Umbraco steel, etc. down there. There's quite a few. Modern buildings around there. I'm pretty much at the end of the village now. But like just on the left, they're rebuilding all the houses that they didn't build originally. It's quite a big estate of those, big executive type houses. But I thought I'd just leave you with this. I don't know if you can see them very well, but it'll look really nice at night as these lights along here start to show up in the dark. I don't know how well you can see them on the video. I can see them pretty clearly at the moment all along the side of this church. Must look quite nice at night. But there must be some hidden gems in Artill that I've not seen. And if you're from Artill, you know of something I missed, please give me a shout. So I hope you enjoyed the quick tour of Artill. Any suggestions for any other places I haven't done, give me a shout.